Hello guys, welcome to Golf Yoga with Amy. We'll be sitting comfortably with your feet in front of you. We'll be doing cat cow from this position to get our spine moving nicely. Just warming it up. We are going to need two yoga blocks. We'll be doing some resetting work on our body. This will be very helpful, especially after a long day to get your body relaxed. Straighten your right leg in front of you, put that left leg over, let's do a gentle twist. We're gonna switch feet, left foot is straight ahead of you, right leg over the left, gentle stretch, try and gauge backwards. Right now, get on your fours and we'll continue to do cat cow here. Make sure you tuck your tailbone under to round your spine as much as possible and then arch your back looking up at the sky to get a lot of movement going in your spine. Tuck your toes in. Now let's get into down dog. Take a couple deep breaths here, really feel your hamstrings, stretch, walk your knees in, get your shoulders in. Let's get those yoga blocks in use. Place your elbows on top of the yoga blocks. It is more comfortable for me to grab the elbows, you don't have to, you can point your fingers up toward the ceiling. And do, it's like a puppy pose, but with your elbows on top of the yoga blocks. This is amazing for your neck, upper back, and your shoulder stretch. Especially us golfers, we're always hunched over. Or when we're working, looking at smartphones, we're always hunched over. So that is one of my favorite poses to relieve my neck and my shoulders. Now we're gonna go straight into the puppy pose. Same thing, but without the yoga blocks. Not as a deep stretch here, but still feels great. Now take that right hand and thread it under your left arm to get a little bit of twisting movement going in your upper back and some stretch in your shoulders as well. Gently switch sides, really try and get that left arm all the way across under your right arm. Sit back into the child's pose, round your back into down dog, taking a couple deep breaths. Get your right knee into the nose and straighten the legs straight back. Really try and keep that right leg straight and point your toes. Point your toe back. Doing a little bit of core work and stretching at the same time. Kick that right leg up to the sky. Really control this movement so you don't strain anything. Keep that right leg straight and get it to go point at the ceiling. Step that right foot up to where your hands are. Rest your left knee on the ground. Now you're going to do a lizard pose. Lizard pose where your right knee flares open 45 degrees sideways. If you're able to, put your elbows down, do a deeper stretch, hold it there. Kick that right foot back, chaturanga, up dog, into down dog. The flow feels great after a long day. Now switch sides, left knee to the nose, and point your toes straight back. Really feel your body elongating. 
point that toe up to the sky now. Up, up, control, up, up. Step that foot next to your hands. Right knee goes on the ground. Low lunge to start with and then flare that left knee sideways slightly. Get into your lizard pose. If you're able to, get onto your elbows for a deeper stretch. Your toe kick that left foot backwards, chaturanga, up dog. Looking over your left shoulder, looking at your toes. Feels great doing this. Switch sides. Look at your toes over your right shoulder. Tuck your toes, get into your down dog position, taking a couple deep breaths here. Shake your head no. Nod your head yes. Round your back into seated position. We're really gonna focus on your neck and your shoulders today. Make some half circles backwards. This is really going to relieve some tension especially from being hunched over in front of the computer, smartphones, or over your golf ball. Take your right hand, left hand touches the ground. Gently pull your head sideways for a stretch. Look up at the ceiling. Look down at your right knee. Switch hands. Gently pull with your left hand to get that neck stretching. Now look up at the ceiling. Look down at your left knee. Now same position, but instead of stretching the neck, we're gonna go ahead and bend over to the left side, resting your left elbow on the ground. Right arm is nice and stretched overhead. If you're able to go ahead and look at your right elbow for better neck stretching, now switch sides, right elbow is on the ground, left arm is extended overhead. If you are able to, look at your left elbow. That feels fantastic, guys. Now back to center, we're going to go ahead and cross your legs so your knees are aligned on top of each other. We're gonna go ahead fourfold if you're able to. This is not an easy stretch for me, but it sure feels great. It feels amazing in my thighs, glute, my neck, and the whole entire back. We're gonna go ahead and switch sides. The right knee is on top of the left, aligned perfectly on top of each other, and fold forward. Do your best here. Let's go ahead and get into cross leg position, taking a couple deep breaths, making big circles and breathing out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Really be thankful for an amazing day today and an amazing yoga session to reset your body for a great night's sleep. Namaste. Hope you guys were able to follow along. I would love for you to try this routine at least three times this week, and I'll be back with a brand new routine next week. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.